Why can't that dress be on me? <laughs> you could never pull that off, Hell Dragon. Oh, I don't know. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they make her constantly buzz-eyed? It makes no sense. And it doesn't really help when she sneaks up behind someone. <laughs> what a Philstein you are. What is a Philistein, Hell Dragon? I don't know. I just like calling people Philistines. Because it makes you seem smart? Exactly. Disclaimer, I know what a Philistine is, just don't tell me. So it turns out that they came when, during that scene where Beast and Belle danced around a ballroom for no particular reason. Oh, it's not going to have Angela and Hansberry singing Taylor's Old as Time. How disappointing. A welcome indeed. It's a douchebag alert! <laughs> I particularly like this douchebag, not so much his boss fight. Wow, wow, my douchebag alarm! Wow, wow! Bitch, please, we're gonna make this party awesome! <laughs> now, this is something that's um, close, to, close to home for the Fan Fancy series, isn't it? Yeah, in a way. I've come to take something you, you gonna explain what the Dragoons are in the context of Fan Fancy Hell Dragon? Oh, yes, of course. Dragoons are actually a class known mainly for their giant jumping spear attacks. I think Kane from Final Fantasy IV was a Dragoon Knight. Sid in Final Fantasy VII is technically a Dragoon, although you can't really tell because he smells like beer. <laughs> yeah, maybe he hides his spear in that massive thing around his waist. Maybe. Oh no, Zaldin just couldn't have flown outside using his portal of darkness. Oh no. So yeah, it's not actually Belle that Zaldin wanted to take, it's something else, and if you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Is it precious, Hell Dragon? It might be, I don't know, it depends on your viewpoint. Me, I'm not much of a gardener, so personally I wouldn't think of it, but... Well, the rose is pretty much the most romantic flower to date. By the way, I wanted to talk about how much this game sucks at adapting the movies. Don't you want to talk about that, Tom? Oh, thank you, Hell Dragon. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, we've been meaning to address this issue a while, but that last scene has finally released the gate on my hatred in my chest. Shall I unleash the bogus and wreck its metaphorical shit? Please do so, my friend. Well, essentially, yeah, a lot of the adaptations they do are really faithful to the source material, like getting the original voice actors and the like, music cues, etc. Sometimes, however, like with Olympus Coliseum, Pirates of the Caribbean and the ballroom scene in particular, they just get lazy. There's no other reason for it, it's just pure laziness. Any piece of music, please? Some emotion? Or just watching people do something? I know, it's just like... And later on, I'm not really sure if I should talk about this yet, but later on when we get to Atlantica, this will become readily apparent and will, will in fact drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, let's just say some of the songs there, there were so many better choices, we'll leave it at that. You just had to have a party with and invite all your silverware friends, didn't you? Why you gotta spoil interesting lines, Hell Dragon? Well, it's gonna come in like a few minutes. Come on, man. <sighs> you and your phrases that spoil things we could riff easily on. <laughs> Please calm down. Why calm down? There's such a mess in here. You never clean up. A party, didn't you? That's the line. I love it because there was no one there. <laughs> Yeah, he invited the silverware. Great. Get some real friends, dude. Leave the castle. Leave the castle. We're gonna have guys come in and spray for bugs. It's gonna stink really bad. It's gonna take forever, because they're gonna have to deflee me at the end of it. Look at my hairy chest. Leap into it. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, you, you know, Beast, you could have worn a shirt all this time, but no. It is pretty vast, I'm not gonna lie. Well, let go, be Beast can go mope. We have to go kick someone's ass. Or get our ass kicked, if you've seen part 74 already. Ugh, I shudder at the thought of it, Tom. I, I, it would be great if Sword just walked up to the, uh, one of the paintings and started looking at the paintings like, Hey, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's out of Harry Potter, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, the painting's fucking alive. He's probably going on the jaw and, I'll eat your poo! <laughs> Creepy, Hell Dragon. Very creepy. Okay, that wasn't mine. That was a Family Guy gag, but it was appropriate. Let's not. You work. brought a Family Guy gag into this commentary. I know. Now it's fully corrupted, isn't it? It's just only a matter of time. Now it's fully lame to the max. Yeah, you have to turn them back to Don't normal so Cogsworth can continue to waste all the food in the fridge by eating it. 
his prissiness level just goes up to prissy saiyan free or something. <laughs> He's the super saiyan four equivalent of priss, I guess. <laughs> I know one thing. I'm gonna find that dude. And I'm gonna smash his face in the pavement. Will never be welcome here. That's the beast we know and love. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have no skill fighting these things whatsoever. I don't think anyone does. They're just dicks. Giant hat-wearing dicks. Who throw spirit bombs made out of fire? <laughs> Which is always a nice thing to bring to the party, I suppose. What did you bring? Well, I brought casserole. I brought fire. <laughs> I brought destruction. Great, Bob! Now we're gonna have to clean up the kitchen. Again! Why do we keep inviting you? Now, God, the damn things just follow you! <laughs> Fuck off! Bob, he's really antisocial. And he's also just spreading fire everywhere. Hey! <laughs> the game after all. Why is there a platform up there? He built it specifically to stand on and mock Beast. Yeah, you know, the designer of this castle thought, well, we're gonna need an impressive scene here in the really future, want? so let me just build a platform for the villain to stand on. He was like walking past it one day and saw him just like building scaffolding to get up there. Master Dreadlocks! <laughs> Rastafar, man. <laughs> His sideburns are epic, though, <laughs> can't lie. Sup, dude, I'm here to steal your rose and ting. I told you to get rid of those sideburns! <laughs> Love it. The Dragoons are pretty cool, and in fact, I came up with a horrible fanfiction idea involving them. I'm not sure if I should tell it to you. Go on. Okay. <laughs> I decided to make a... S I had an idea where they would meet a Dragoon that somehow still had its mind intact, and they had to figure out why it still had its mind intact, and maybe help it get its body back. Right. That sounds pretty interesting, actually. Well, yeah, but... I, I think if I wrote it, I would make it amazing and spectacular like it should be, but if anyone else wrote it... Yeah, so essentially what you're saying is, Hell Dragon is the best, everyone else sucks. Pretty much, yeah! <laughs> Why do they do that, by the way? Why do they, like, unwrap out of nowhere? Because they're made of nothingness. I know, but it doesn't really serve a purpose. They just do it, and then nothing happens. There's no benefit from it. They're mooks, Hell Dragon. It's what they do. Yeah, I shouldn't question the actions of mooks that are determined to die by my hand. This boss fight has been coming for a long, long time. Yes, we've been foreshadowing it very long, but now we will finally get to see the awfulness that is Zaldin. I think we even bitched about it in the later parts of uh, the first playthrough. Is that right? We may have done, it's been a while. Well now we have finally come to terms and we will finally confront our demons with fisticuffs. <laughs> so you might want to get out of here considering the crazy dreadlock killer man is here. The rose indicates you about to get snagged. I don't want to give anything away, so I'll just say his profession when he was a somebody, as it were, was like a guard of sorts. So he's not really the smartest one of the group. You could leave behind your dreadlocks. They look pretty heavy. How about your convoluted plot? Leave that behind. No, I will leave behind my robe. Mm. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of... Considering what we're about to go through, that kind of makes you seem like a total pussy, Solomon. I'm not gonna lie. Are you ready, Tom? Let's do it. Oh, fuck yeah. This is fucking cool, I'm not gonna lie. The dude fights with six psychokinetic spears. Hell yeah! <laughs> he holds free and levitates the other four. Or three, it's rather. fucking awesome, and that's why I cannot totally hate this fight, because Zaldin is fucking cool. But he is a dick, and we will now explain how much of a dick he actually is. Let's start off with that windshield we hate so much. Oh my, you know the reaction command you got from the Dragoons? Use that on him and you'll break through the shield, then you can just combo him. That's pretty much the only way you're going to be able to do reliable damage, because your Keyblade will not work against that damn windshield. Mm, I hate, like, super armor like that. And good luck trying to block his gigantic spears, by the way, because he can stab you with them, he can slash you, and unless you're really good at blocking it, it's going to be, you're going to get hit. This is Master Form, I don't really have much to say about it, because like I said, it's my least used form. Final Form is a lot better when we eventually get that. Hell yeah. But still, 
See, Sultan is cool. He's got cool attacks. He's annoying as shit, but god damn it. I'd probably say he's my favorite in the group next to Zigbar. He is my favorite organization fight, period, even though I hate him so damn much. It, I spent an hour trying to beat him with lots of Mickey retries and whatnot. Oh, he's such a douche. Yeah, this is one of the times where if you die, Mickey will come up and help you, but I think it's only three, and from there you're kind of screwed. <laughs> it was a lot more than three when I was fighting, trust me. I'm making this look easy, but it's not. Like this thing here, where he actually does go invincible. His invincible green combo, as I called it. You better be the hell away from him when he does it. And then he follows it up with this damn dragon blast. Now, I have no way of reliably dodging this, so I just jump into it and hope it doesn't kill me. The only way to block this attack is to use Reflect, but if you don't use magic like I do... <laughs> true, true. May God have mercy on you if you get anti-form in this fight. If he drops those spears on you, you can do more learning reaction commands from that. So stock as many as you can, then fire away. If you time your jumps, you can just miss the shock waves and it'll give you an extra learned command. So you, I, so this fight, I think if there were more defensive abilities you had available, it would be a bit more manageable. Mm. He starts becoming a real dick, where he goes invincible, combos you till you're almost dead, then goes into the dragoon state. I know, it's just, I really think they needed to look at this fight and go, okay, let's try to make this not fucking annoying. But, again, very cool. Which is kind of like Kingdom Hearts 1 in a way. It's very cool, but goddamn if some of the boss fights aren't the most frustrating thing in, like, video game history. Also got a de he's also a death machine. I mean, look at this shit that he does to us. Didn't see that last airbender turning, like, his staff into a dragon and shooting wind. <laughs> Because actually it's quite retarded. Yeah. So hopefully this guy is almost dead because like I said, he's cool but he has worn out his welcome. Mm-hmm. I mean, trust me on this one, guys. <laughs> oh god, I was actually dreading this because I thought there was going to be a lot of filler commentary but we've been quite informative, I think. I mean, even during the green combo, you can't knock him out of it with jump commands. It's just... I don't know what to think about this guy anymore. I really don't. Uh, let's finish him off, hopefully. Fuck it, I'm gonna give him the Goofy Rocket. Goofy Rocket to the face? That should be fun. Or Knock Smash, as it were. Is that even hitting him? Well, it doesn't have to, because when he comes out of the combo, the rocket part will hit him and finish him, as thus. Fuck off, dude! <laughs> <laughs> I fired a dog at a guy who uses wind to carry six lances at a time. Oh, hell yes. Oh man, I feel manly after that. What about you, Tom? Well, it gives me a real sen a sense of satisfaction, that boss does, I'm not gonna lie. And thus, we have finally faced the demon that is Zaldan. Now there are like three others. I still think this is a good plot line. It's just that the fact that it got smushed down in Kingdom Hearts doesn't really help it out much. Mm. And of course, we brought in some Japanese overpowered anime character, which does ruin it, yes. With Rastafari and dreadlocks, for no reason. And six psychokinetic spears. Okay, I, Zaldin is so cool, I'm sorry. He's an airbender, it's not psychokinesis, that's what Silver uses. Don't compare him to Silver, come on! I, I'm barely liking Zaldin by a thread, really. It's no use! Take this! At least the animation is better here, which is good considering that this is a love story, basically. Have we mentioned who plays Belle? I don't remember. I may have said it was Jody Benson, the person who plays Ariel, but on checking Wiki properly, doing research and whatnot, is Paige O'Hara, who played her in the original film. Define dancing. See, there's Taylor's oldest time. Why was it in the ballroom scene? I don't know, maybe because of the fact that it got interrupted by Zaldin, now that I look back on it. Zaldin ruining a really good song sung by a guy, woman rather, who was on Murder, She Wrote. Well, even so, the fact that they are able to do this here, that they're still connected with each other like that, it's still a touching moment, I won't lie, because I am a man wuss like that. I'm feeling a return to slight disappointment. Maybe even disappoint too, disappointment harder.
Then Disappointment 3, which was not nearly as good as the first one. Pretty much. There's an Organization 13 member! Let's talk to him with our feet! Personally, I prefer to use blunt objects, Hell Dragon. Well, because he is spoilerish, and hopefully a dude, I can't really tell with that cloak. Yeah, it, it, knowing the organization, it is kind of hard to tell unless you have a face to look at, trust me. Hope you're not giving too much away there, Hell Dragon. Even then, <laughs> no, I, I'm gonna. <laughs> we're gonna hold back on that for now until we have a more apropos situation. Oh, you're bringing in your thesaurus for this fill apart. Yes, I have the thesaurus in my soul, and it tells me what words to say to make me sound important. That was beautiful, Hell Dragon. It also tells me to burn people. That was horrific, Hell Dragon. Hey, are we gonna have a rehash of that fight we already did the first time we came around here? Oh, you betcha. Ah, oh, well, I'm so glad that they're going to do that, you know? Don't try or anything, Kingdom Hearts. I would've actually quite liked to have fought some Huns, you know? Yeah, why couldn't we have fought some Huns? I don't understand why we couldn't have done that. Hold on. Spoiler Man is holding a very familiar weapon. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my god. It's Yensid! Yes! Of Wait. No! Oh, it's completely not Yensid, like, at all. No, no! It's Yuffie! Was... <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> it's clearly Yuffie, yeah. Yeah, Yuffie has always fought like that, and always had that very nice figure, I'm not going to lie, even though she's like 12. I don't know! Or maybe it's Chip and Dale standing on top of each other using a robot. <laughs> the ultimate cartoon disguise, you'll <laughs> never know! Uh, Chip and Dale just don't really care, and they're kind of nonplussed by the whole, there's millions of hearts around. I never realized how good they were with a sword, Chip and Dale must be practicing in their spare time. This is the spin-off for Rescue Rangers coming up right here. Oh no, we don't need to connect that to Kingdom Hearts. Hey, did you know they're getting a new comic book? I did hear, yeah. That's kind of cool. Ho at this rate, hopefully they'll be popular enough to get put into Kingdom Hearts. Mm-hmm. What with, like, Gadget and that Monterey guy? Yeah, the big fat mouse motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know him. What was that? <laughs> he just, like, <laughs> shit happens. <laughs> Is that another snow slide? I hope not. What, like in Winnie the Pooh world? Or what we just did in the first time we came here. That's true. Oh, I hate when the facial animations just fall flat. It's okay in some scenes, but when things are really dramatic and emotional, you kinda want more. Mm. I could've made a snow angel back there. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? That, I believe, is called Storm Rider. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I will correct you on how ugly this dragon is, and thus not a real dragon whatsoever. Well, because he's ugly, I guess he deserves to die then. You're right! That's exactly how it works. Let's go wreck some Heartless, filler style. When do we not wreck Heartless, Tom? When do you stop wrecking Heartless? Cutscenes, maybe, Hell Dragon? Well, obviously you start wrecking the cutscene. Don't you know how to fight one? Well, Resident Evil 4 taught me how to do it, especially with Krauser and the like. Oh well, quick time events. That was really well done, Capcom. Thanks a lot. <laughs> now that I think about it, we haven't gone to the Prime Lands, haven't we? That's in part 90 or so, I think. Oh man, that's going to be a while, isn't it? Well, it's going to be roughly around 14 parts or so, with my rudimentary math skills. Get the fuck away from me! Oh, <laughs> <go by. laughs> I can just imagine you walking along and a bee comes while you're talking, you're like, GET THE FUCK AWAY FROM ME, BEE! Ah! Man, more centaurs and the thunder dicks! <laughs> thunder dicks. I don't know what they're called, I call them thunder dicks, because what do they remind you of? Dicks that can shoot out thunder. Oh. oh well, there you go, son. Mm -hmm. Not so tough are you now, Centaur. Mm? Uh -huh. I, I don't know, he's doing a pretty good job kicking your ass like normal. You see, this is why I just have no confidence. The second I get a bit of enthusiasm, someone comes along and fucks me over. I mean, even when you're, like, alone in your room, somebody will come in somehow. <laughs> like that bee. See, I'm just going along doing math, and there you go. The palaces? Uh-oh, gotta speed up! No, don't say that. That they they have to speed up now. Come on. Chippendale, your reign of terror is over. I will destroy you and then break that impressive robot your girlfriend made. She's not I my will... girlfriend. 
I will crush your nuts. Wait. Metaphorical as well as physical. He's got skinny arms. Well, that may maybe the robot changed sizes. I don't know. Mm, maybe the robot went on a diet. Yeah, they got a lot of those out there, you know. Oh, we just got trolled again! <laughs> Fucking Organization 13. Should be called Troll Organization 14. Oh, snap! That didn't even make sense, I don't think. I had plus one because Chip and Dale's in there as well. Oh, well. Okay then. They have fucking laser sights, holy shit! They can teleport their bullets as well, it's pretty cool. It's cool, I guess, and I do kind of like Zigbar's how he, when you fight him, I like how he fights. It's annoying as shit, but... He's my favorite member of the organization, Zigbar, because while everyone else is using kind of melee things, he sticks with guns. Yeah, he's actually kind of smart, you know, fuck your swords and shit, I'm gonna get my crazy ass lightning gun. Zigbar shoots first, he always shoots first. Sorry, the Emperor had tacos for lunch. But no, that's really a giant dragon, and we should probably stab it a lot. But, it's a dragon. Don't you like dragons? Is it not your brethren? I do not like this particular variation. I'm very picky. <laughs> Rather retarded. I don't mean that in the general sense of the word. And did you say I was retarded? <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about the dragon, Hell Dragon. Oh, 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 okay. I see. That's how it starts then, huh? Yeah, that's how it starts. Mm -hmm. Ah, that'll be useful for later. And what's in this chest down here? I don't know, why don't you do a spinny thing and open it? We got the recipe for Freddie Mercury! Yes! Finally he will return from the dead! <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff, we have to get derp. started. Derp! Sorry, he distracts me, it's really retarded. <laughs> yeah, he's a derp gun. <laughs> <laughs> derp rider. We're really bad at making up words, I noticed. Well, your thesaurus must have lost all its pages, kind of like the torn pages, if you will. Stop! Stop it! <laughs> I can't! <laughs> See, look at this dragon, it looks so terrible, not like a regal manly dragon should be. Man, your heartless is really shit, Hell Dragon. That's not my heartless, I disown it! <laughs> Maybe it's parallel universe, Hell Dragon's heartless. Well, he's retarded and derpy looking? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Why can't we disable this guy's wings and bring him down? That would actually make the fighting a lot easier. Because... You know what? I just can't think of a reason. Ah, um, Tom not being able to think of anything. That's new. Derp. This should be your heartless. Don't you blame this on me. You should get hey, a derp dragon. I'm not the one with dragon in my username. Okay, when a heartless made out of an N64 shows up, then you can quibble. Well, it's not going to be an N64 if it's your heartless. It'll be more like a Dreamcast. <laughs> or a PS1. Well, PS1 is awesome. Okay, Dreamcast should be cool, too. I heard a lot of good things about the Dreamcast. I'm not gonna lie. Too bad it's fucking dead and it ain't coming back. Oh, that's harsh, Tom. I'm just saying, this can't be my heartless. He's too lame and too hard to hit. Well, I ain't saying nothing. You know, if we had Wario, he could just grab this guy and do, like, a pile driver and he'd kick his ass. Well, you got giant laser beams. Are you sure this isn't your heartless? Final Flash! <laughs> Exactly. Why wouldn't you be proud of this guy? Yeah, but I would use like a fire beam and he just he's just using some pussy barrier to lock you in place. Sweep that bitch across the room. Indeed. Where do you get bombs from? Seriously, this needs to be answered. Please, can I say? Go ahead. He got it from Morshu. There you go, that's a reference for you. <laughs> and thus, Hell Dragon lost his heart and turned into Derp Dragon. No, I don't want to be Derp Dragon! <laughs> this is fanfiction I do not encourage! <laughs> Your nobody is Shenron from Dragon Ball Z. There you go. Omega Shenron? Sure, why not? It has to be his second form because I think his first form... I don't remember how his first form looked. Okay, your nobody is Omega Shenron's second form. Fuck yeah! Okay, <laughs> I will accept this begrudgingly. Eat it! Oh, you wrecked his shit! 